regret when Victoria cycled to Argentina. After leaving the coal behind and arriving in Hope, we took a quick ride to Colchis Lake, where Linda and Gary, our saviors from last time, very kindly offered us their beautiful cabin to rest up as long as we needed. We ended up staying for almost two weeks, which was just what we needed after such a challenging push. Eso, cabrones. Eso. From there, we headed towards Vancouver to enjoy the spoils of the city for a couple of days. What do you got to say about Vancouver, huh? I love it. I want to live here. Linda's daughter, Jessica, kindly let us crash on her couch and even scored us some free tickets to a hockey game. After a couple days in the city, we are now leaving Vancouver and headed over to Vancouver Island. We had grand plans to explore Vancouver Island, but it didn't exactly go as we'd hoped. When we arrived, we were surprised with a fresh two feet of snow, and then Victoria had a pretty bad fall on an icy road. <laughs> so we decided to cut our losses and beeline straight to the city of Victoria, where we could hop on a ferry to the USA. This is Victoria, the place we've been riding in the rain and the dark for the last couple of hours, but we made it. In this episode, we venture over to Washington's Olympic Peninsula and ride the coast south to enjoy the ocean views, easy riding, and avoid the harsh winter conditions further inland. Why do you love Victoria so much? Oh, the place. Yeah, I love it. No, me! <gasps> wow, this looks beautiful, man. Look, I have such a good camera. Today we're heading to the USA. Despite the rainy weather, we were so happy to be back out wild camping again, and the temperatures were a lot more comfortable than what we experienced back in Canada. What? How could you? How could you? This is the town where Twilight was filmed and I think Victoria is pretty disappointed because there's not much Twilight stuff around. Wow. Take me a picture now. Before we knew it, we were riding along the stunning Pacific coast and we even got to see some of the local wildlife dead whale. It smells quite bad. We're getting an electric unicycle escort through town this morning. Yeah, it is. So do you have to 
sometimes you can't. Most of the time, yeah. yeah. If it's like a town like Aberdeen, obviously we can't camp, so um, there's a website called Warm Showers where people would put themselves on a map to host cyclists. Oh, nice. And we found Ralph that way. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. See you later. We found the friendliest looking house in the neighborhood and they have this beautiful spot for us to camp. This is Dungeness Crab that we catch out here. Oh, nice. You guys can have some for dinner. Oh, thank oh, you so much. That's so kind. It's, uh, it's in a shell, so if you have a pair of pliers, it'll help you crack it. Yeah. Uh, it's quite hot in here, you know? Wow. And then I was like, wait, my legs are already wet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. we got a car. Someone just pulled over and offered us a warm, dry spot to stay tonight. First flat. So we're gonna need to use bacon, huh? We're gonna need to use bacon. Let's go. <laughs> All the way in. Keep going. Cool. Now pull that out. Now? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Very nice. Let's go. I was waiting for this moment. <laughs> Like brand new. We managed to find a house sitting gig in Skamokaway, right on the Oregon Washington border. So our Christmas holiday was spent relaxing, editing videos, and looking after this very cute little cat called Nunzi. As I'm doing this voiceover, Victoria's shaking her head because she thinks it's pronounced Skamokawa. We've just set off after spending the last two weeks cat sitting. Um, it's been a really good break, but we're very happy to be back out on the bikes and on the move again. Sometimes you gotta set up the tent in the rain. So a car just went off the road and it went off the shoulder between where we were. And if I was 10 seconds slower, I would be dead basically. Victoria was behind me, but luckily she was like a minute behind. So yeah, we just got very lucky. It looks like it's going to be raining all day again today. Um, there's a slight break right now, which is good. But yeah, I think this is the new normal. Just all day rain until we can get like halfway down California. Oh, 
touch it or rip it, it, it only happens once. So long to last lines, every time's the first time I love to have some fun. A cauldron of potions, drops of the oceans, couldn't solve this one. As luck would have it, I'm on the planet, so it seems I Got it? Oh. <laughs> At this point, we were getting pretty used to being rained on all day, but we were staying warm enough and it was easy to stay motivated surrounded by so much beauty. Don't have to tell me I know I've been a fool Take your time, girl Take your time Don't have to tell me Hi there! How are you doing? We did, eventually. Take your time, girl Thank you so much. Take your time. Just off the side of the road, tucked away. Today we have another day of all day rain, but the forecast says that this is supposed to be the last day of rain for the next two weeks. So hopefully that's true. Some nice dunes. When we arrived in Bandon, Oregon, the sun finally came out. In the next episode, we make the most of our sunny window and make a break across the coastal mountains towards the Nevada desert. Basically, for the last few weeks, we've been trying to hatch a plan to get off the highway and to head east to Nevada. And we think we've finally found an opportunity. We've been planning it out with a snow map. So, wish us luck. Wish us luck. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> now, why you don't wanna go through the 101? Oh my God. Don't get us wrong. The Pacific Coast Highway is very beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful views. Um, yeah, but the reality is you're riding on a 
busy highway 99% of the time with traffic just buzzing by you and also we're craving a bit of adventure and it doesn't really feel like adventure just cycling on a paved highway with shops every five seconds.